Hello and welcome to my sticker creation tutorial using ArtReach Studio Pro. Uh, if you don't have Studio Pro, you won't have the sticker creator, so you won't be able to follow along with this. Uh, but maybe you want to watch it anyway and use that to decide on whether you want to upgrade. Um, this tutorial is only going to be covering simple, to, uh, simple sticker creation, so uh, I won't be going over uh, the bump mapping using the texture, gloss, or uh, metallic layers in the sticker creator. I'm going to save that for a separate tutorial. Uh, this is only for a simple sticker sheet. So to begin, uh, we want to set up our canvas correctly. Uh, to do that, I'm just going to go up to File, say New Painting. And what I'm going to do is click on this window here where the canvas is bring up the canvas uh, panel here and what we want to do is set the opacity down to 0%. Now uh, that's for when we export the image later as a PNG file so that we all have a transparent background. Uh, you just click OK and you can see here that it's showing a checkerboard background that means it's transparent. Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, a sticker sheet where each sticker is going to have a space of 200 pixels to work in. Uh, and since I'm going to have uh, three columns and two rows, that means I need a width of 600 pixels and a height of 400 pixels. Okay, and with that set, I'm going to say OK. And there's my canvas. Uh, of course, it would be nice to have a grid pattern on here. So what I'm going to do is call out a ruler, and to do that, I'm going to go up to Tools, Stencil Options, and I'm going to click on Add Default Ruler. And you'll see one of the ArtRage rulers appears. I'm just going to extend that a bit. If I put the zero point on the edge here, you can see that it's a 600 pixel canvas. Uh, I'm going to hit my hotkey to call another ruler out. And what I'm going to do is mark off my 200 pixel points on here. Okay, so now that I have uh, my areas plotted out, I'm going to make another layer to work on. And to do this, I'm going to use a pure red color, which they suggest doing in the manual. Uh, a manual is a good resource to go to. Uh, to learn about stickers as well. Uh, what I did here, I just clicked on the little color panel here to call up this menu. And I'm going to select the precise color picker and I'm going to set my red bar all the way up to 255, my green color down to zero and blue down to zero and click OK. And there's a pure red color. Uh, for this particular tutorial I'm going to be using letters and numbers to fill in these cells on my grid. Uh, so I'm just going to use the uh, text tool down here. I'm going to click on my layer on the canvas. I'm just going to type in ABC123. Uh, I'm going to use my transform tool to make those a little larger. That'll be good enough for now. Uh, and I'm going to flatten my text by clicking on the little T on the layer here and selecting Flatten Text to Paint. And using my selection tool, I will be highlighting each of these letters. And using the Move tool, the Transform tool rather, I'll be moving them into position and centering them on this grid. Okay, uh, as you can see, I've aligned all of my uh, numerals to where they need to be and all of my letters to where they need to be uh, within the grid. Now, if I just hide this one layer where my grid is uh, and get rid of that, I'll be all set to go ahead and export this as a PNG file. So I'll go up to File, select Export Image File. I'll make sure I have it to be saved as type PNG image. And I'm just going to leave it set as untitled. 
and I've just exported it. And now we can create the sticker. And to do that, um, you can go over to the sticker pod here and open up the sticker sheet panel. And then we'll click on new. Okay, and that calls up our panel here. Uh, I have that as a shortcut. And as you can see, I could just hit my key and call that right up for myself. Uh, now, what you can do here is you give your sticker sheet a name. I'm just going to call it Untitled. Like the name of the uh, PNG I saved. And I'm going to put this in my work in progress group. Uh, and what you can see here are two different layers that both have uh, color, texture, gloss, and metallic maps. All right, and as I said earlier, I'm not going to be dealing with these uh, particular uh, color maps or texture maps, rather. And I'm going to save that for a different tutorial. Uh, for now, all we have to concern ourselves with is one of the color layers, and I always use the lower layer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and that'll open up my open panel. And I'll just select and open my image. And as you can see in the window, my image is showing up. Uh, but what I need to do is make sure that that's set up in a grid pattern for my sticker sheet. And to do that, I can just click on the numbers here for columns and just type in the uh, amount of columns and rows I have. And you can see how it put that within a grid. Uh, at which point I can now just click OK. Uh, OK, and we've just created our sticker. Uh, so if I go over to my sticker panel again, uh, I'm in my work in progress group. I can scroll down to the bottom and there's my untitled sticker sheet all set and created and I can just go ahead and peel those numbers straight off of there make whatever changes I like to it rotate it scale it right click select sticker tint I can change the color change the uh, radius opacity and direction of the shadow so I see fit and I can change the opacity if I want. Uh, and that's it. Sticker created. And ready to be used with the uh, sticker spray or however you want. Okay, so hopefully this has been useful. Uh, again, I'll be exploring more with different tutorials later on. Uh, I hope you found it useful.